Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we'll be reviewing everything covered in this week's dev blog, dev blog number 14. This dev blog covered the 0.9.6 update cycle going from the original update's release all the way to the newest experimental update. It also covered some changes they made server-side as well as gave some hints regarding ground support or update 0.9.7. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Start, it's been quite a bit of time since the last dev blog, so the devs started off by reviewing the 0.9.6 update cycle, which began with the update's experimental build and ended with the newest update they released this week being 0.9.6.64. I've been covering this series of updates as they've been coming out, as they've been going through the experimental build, so if you're someone who's interested in this entire process, I will have all the videos linked in the description below. However, this series of updates fixed many bugs, completely changed conflict, and brought many changes to the game as a whole, representing a kind of rejuvenation and revival of sorts of the game update-wise when the game was kind of entering a stalling, very uh, dying period earlier in the year. To bring up examples that the devs specifically used, um, players do not need to press deploy numerous times to respawn anymore, no more frozen fire animation when a gun is dropped during firing, and turning left in trucks is now smooth. Following the 0.9.6 review, they moved to some other changes that they have rolled out, specifically a change to the naming system used in the official servers hosted by the devs. This change would allow you to know the region of the server that you are joining. This way, even if the server browser tells you that a server has low ping, you can check for yourself and realize that the server could be hosted halfway across the world. This is probably going to help a lot of players who, you know, they might see that 60 ping and go, that looks nice, and then they say region France, and they're going to go, maybe I don't live there. And, and that might help with a lot of issues that people are experiencing server-wise. They then talked about information regarding mod creation and sharing accounts as a mod creator, saying that sharing Bohemia accounts currently isn't possible. So if you wish to share accounts, you would need to share your Steam account in order to all edit one mod. Finally, they talked about the private unlisted mods, stating they are working on this feature, but for now, all private mods will be listed as un unlisted until something they're working on fixing. For me, this does seem like some minor losses to mod creators, and I'm hopeful Bohemia in the next couple of months works on you know making it so people can share accounts for mod creation which i'm sure would be a lot easier for mod creators as well as also really fixing this whole privacy issue when it comes to mods finally they talked about what's coming next seeing as the update cycle for 0.9.6 is approaching its end they are now focusing the majority of their resources on the next major update this major update being 0.9.7 or ground support this will be the first milestone update and has been talked about for a long time, going all the way back to the roadmap when that was released. It's something a lot of players are looking forward to, including myself. And the devs say that some of the features of ground support may swap out with features of later updates based on what the community wants and what they are able to pull off. Do this, I'm greatly curious as to what form this update will take, but mostly I'm pretty optimistic. Devblog did also give us our first hint as to what is on the horizon with this update, sharing these two images that I'm going to show on screen now as a sneak peek as to what is to come in the upcoming update. Finally, they finished off the devblog with Comrade number 5. This features lots of content creators and lots of cool art and stuff that has been made related to the game. And I should add, I was lucky enough to make my way into this. I'm greatly honored and thankful of all of you guys and the devs for my inclusion in this. But that's really all I've got for you guys today. This dev blog was mainly a review of the 0.9.6 update cycle with a tiny hint as to what is coming next. But until we get what's coming next, this has been Crystal Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.